two versions of the newest Samsung device, and the names no longer use the word Edge, making it clearer than ever that the curved display is the Galaxy calling card moving forward. The Edges have the usual tropes, like the Edge UX or any of the features that the Edge brings to the table. However, it's less about that and more about how these curved displays defy logic. The Galaxy S8 crams a 5.7-inch screen onto a body that feels much smaller than that leads on, and the curves come down to meet the hands better than ever. However, for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, it manages to cram in a 6.2-inch display onto a body that feels kind of decent to handle in one hand. And a few things had to change in order to make this happen, mainly a resolution shift to 2960 by 1440 for an aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9. And the Galaxy S8 Plus manages to get a little bit taller rather than wider in order to accommodate this change. Another change comes in the removal of the hardware key. Yes, this is actually happening, folks. The hardware home button is now gone by the wayside, and even the Samsung logo at the top is gone as well. On the back now is the fingerprint reader, and while it doesn't feel too bad on the S8, the S8 Plus makes it feel awkward because you have to reach for it. And the change towards more display means soft keys, which means a nav bar and customization. Speaking of software, the latest addition to the Galaxy suite of apps is a whole new layer of assistance called Bixby. Bixby is a little bit like Samsung's version of Google Now and Voice Search, and it can be triggered with yet another hardware change, a new button underneath the volume rocker. Our time with Bixby only really showed the splash screen where contextual slides are shown, including news stories and calendar entries. However, further actions are available, especially with voice input, which we saw in a demo. Functions here included changing the brightness or taking a selfie, and a new layer to the camera is available now as well, as Bixby can use the camera to scan not only words, so you can translate among dozens of different languages, but you can also find product information for pretty much any item. We plan to spend a lot of time with Bixby to see what it offers and to see if it's truly a new layer of assistance or just a redundancy because you still get Google Assistant built in. And all of this is housed in a water-resistant body that we were almost aggressively invited to dunk. And that body protects a bevy of hardware bits that users have come to expect, a 10 nanometer octa-core processor that Samsung is not really telling us clearly if it's the Snapdragon or the latest Exynos, which is probably going to mean it's a mix of the two, 4 gigabytes of RAM, expandable storage, a headphone jack, thank goodness, every sensor and connection type possible, and a 3000 mAh battery for the S8 and 3500 mAh for the S8+. Plus. The camera is also quite familiar with 12 megapixels on the rear and 8 megapixels on the front, f1.7 aperture for both. What we were told, however, was that the cameras have gotten better post-processing, so the picture should have an enhancement, but it's more on the software side than just on the sheer specs. So Samsung strives to make changes in just the right places, even if it does mean a shift in familiarity. Gone are the Samsung logos, the tactile home button, and flat panels. In are Bixby and its new button, a shifted fingerprint reader, and screens that simply don't quit. There are more capabilities that can be unlocked using the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, but you have to use their various tools in the Samsung ecosystem, like the Gear 360 and Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX blows up the already large home screen to literally desktop size with a lot of features built in. All of these different pieces will be covered here at Android Authority, and we encourage you to check out those pieces of content and video. Our first look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 makes us really excited to get our hands on the review unit sooner rather than later, but the release information currently puts pre-orders at March 30th with the phone making it to you on April 21st. Keep an eye out for our full review and our final thoughts on the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus in the coming weeks, and you can also see all of our comparisons, our quick looks, and reactions to various features of the Galaxy S8 here in the next- I'm so happy that you are with us today. As you all know, it has been a challenging year for Samsung. Today, we are proud to mark the beginning of a new era of smartphone design. An era without edges or limits. I give you the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Thank you, DJ. The Galaxy S8 will fundamentally change how you use your phone by giving you more screen in a completely new form factor. The Infinity Display has an incredible end-to-end -end screen that spills over the phone sides, forming a completely smooth, continuous surface. The entire front of the phone is pure, pristine glass, which flows seamlessly into the aluminum shell. We took a 5.8-inch piece of glass 
6.2 inches for the Galaxy S8 Plus. And we rounded the corners and curved the edges. Even with more screen, the phone feels small and comfortable in your hand. But with curved edges, we realized that we could increase the size of the display without sacrificing that comfortable grip. We reorganized the phone's interior. That way we could stretch the usable surface of the phone over basically the entire front of the device. In fact, the Galaxy S8 is the first mobile device to earn a mobile HDR premium certification from the UHD Alliance. We've teamed up with Amazon Prime Video and others to bring you HDR content to mobile. So you can stream movies and shows like Amazon's award-winning original series in its original crisp, realistic colors right from your phone. And with the Galaxy S8, there's also a new Clearview standing color. Some of you might be wondering, what happened to the home button? Well, it's still there. But to give you more screen, we moved the home button beneath the infinity display. And with a combination of hardware and software, we made sure it responds to pressure just like a physical button would. The Galaxy S8 brings together design, technology, and user experience in a device that looks and feels like none other. And you can make it your own by choosing from one of five stunning colors. And when we introduced the award-winning Galaxy S7 camera, we raised the bar for taking photos in low light with the first ever dual pixel sensor on a mobile device. We've taken that same revolutionary technology and incorporated it into the Galaxy S8. I mean, haven't you ever wished that you could take like multiple photos of the same moment and then combine the best attributes of those photos to create the perfect shot? Well, that's what multi-frame image processing does. It uses multiple images to reduce noise and boost brightness when you need it most. We take millions of selfies every day. That's why we made our front-facing camera even better. It now has an eight megapixel sensor, an autofocus that detects your face. So we became one of the first manufacturers to make our devices water and dust resistant. Fast forward to today, and you can use your Galaxy S8 inside and outside in real life environments without worrying that a rainstorm will ruin your day or your phone. That's why we created a new 10 nanometer smartphone processor for the Galaxy S8. That means that 10,000 of our transistors can fit on the width of a human hair. The result is a mobile processor that's faster and more powerful than any other we've ever made, ushering a new standard for the smartphone. Of course, when you do need to recharge, we've always believed it should be easy and convenient, of course. I mean, we pioneered fast and wireless charging. Our newest wireless charging pad gives you more options, letting you lay your phone flat or Prop it up so you can see the screen. We put the Galaxy S8 through our toughest safety testing process ever, with an eight-point battery safety check that goes beyond the industry standard. Because quality and safety is and remains our top priority. So at Samsung, we saw an opportunity to make users' lives safer and easier through biometric authentication. Now instead of typing a password, you are the password. One of the most exciting examples of this is the iris scanner, which maps your iris and creates a unique digital signature, an eye print instead of a fingerprint. Sometimes you just really want to get into your phone really quickly. So we've perfected a form of biometrics that lets you do exactly that. It's called face recognition. You just hold your S8 in front of your face and it will pull up your home screen instantly. You can still use the fingerprint scanner, but we've moved that to the back of the phone to make space for all that extra screen. But the S8 also lets you take charge of your actual life or your well-being with Samsung Health. We've partnered with leading online providers like American Well in the US to bring you our new Ask an Expert feature. You can connect with a doctor online within minutes at a time that works for you. We are thrilled to announce the Galaxy S8 will be available starting April 21st. Every Galaxy S8 will come with a pair of top-of-the-line earbuds from AKG, also to be sold separately for $99. I could not be more excited to share with you an innovation that will completely change the way you use your mobile phone. Meet Bixby. It's a new intelligent interface that reimagines the user ex mobile user experience. Bixby understands context. It knows what's happening on your screen. All I have to do is open up Maps, Press the convenient Bixby button on the side of the phone and say, capture this and send to Cindy. 
Bixby understands when I say capture this. That's context awareness. Now let's say I have multiple Cindy's in my phone. Well, Bixby's smart enough to know when it needs more information, and it will let me choose which one I mean. Beyond voice, Bixby's intelligence is embedded deep into the camera. And thanks to our partners, you can search for images, learn about landmarks, shop online, and even translate languages. If you see something you want to buy, just point the camera at it, and Bixby will find it from one of our partners. But Bixby also learns and adapts to your routine to anticipate what you need. When you swipe to the right on the home screen, Bixby takes you to a contextual, personalized page that shows you the information you use from the apps you'd use on, in one convenient place. Bixby will support native apps and third-party apps like Google Play Music. So with the Galaxy S8, we're fulfilling the original promise of IoT, giving you access to Samsung and SmartThings devices through a single app. It's called Samsung Connect. But the real power of the app is that you can monitor and control your devices from miles away. Now, even with all of these smart connected devices, sometimes even basic connectivity can be a problem. And that's why we're introducing Samsung Connect Home. It's a premium router and IoT hub in one. And it lets you control Samsung and SmartThings appliances to enhance your IoT options. Introducing the all new Gear 360. It's more portable with an enhanced grip that fits comfortably in your hand. It shoots in brilliant 4K. And now you can live broadcast your experiences in real time on Facebook, YouTube, or Samsung VR. We've got a special surprise for everyone here in the audience today. In, yeah, instead of just showing you the new Gear 360, we want you to be the very first people to try it out for yourselves. What do you think about that? That was pretty cool, right? We created Samsung DeX. It's a new productivity tool that lets you power a desktop experience right from your phone. Accessing Samsung DeX is super simple. It's literally plug and play. Or for my busy work life, more like plug and work. He's got multiple windows open side by side and all his essential smartphone apps like messages, calendar, and email. We're also working with Microsoft and other partners to optimize many more apps for Samsung DeX. We've also customized the interface to run Android OS in a desktop experience. Today, the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus offer a gateway to a new mobile life where the power of innovation, imagination, and inspiration will carry us beyond the old barriers and into a world of unlimited possibilities.